Hey folks, I'm Matt from Fidel Gastros, and in case you didn't know, I am a Canadian. And that means I celebrated my Thanksgiving like three weeks ago. But I also know that American Thanksgiving's right around the corner. So I thought it'd be awesome to show you a little OGFG recipe. OG stands for Original Gangster. FG stands for Fidel Gastros. And pray tell, where does this recipe come from? My cookbook, Street Food Diaries. Plug the book, plug the book, plug the book. Soft sell. Plug the book, soft sell, Matt, soft sell. Anyway, so why don't we get to it? I'm gonna show you how to make Alabama tailgaters from my cookbook, Street Food Diaries. Let's do this. All right, so first, this is a nice piece of uh, beef tenderloin. We're gonna get some really thin slices out of this because this is actually gonna go inside your bacon. If you have a butcher that you're friends with, maybe butter them up and go, hey bro, hey uh, Silvio. I'm assuming his name's Silvio. Silvio, can you slice me some beef? Maybe if he's nice, he'll do it for you. First things first, we're gonna start cutting our beef. Nice beef tenderloin steak. I think it's easier if you just make the slices like so. So you wanna make sure that the pieces are super thin because we're gonna stuff them with cheese and jalapeno. If you find that they're a little larger, it's not a big deal. Just pound them out. Use your hand, spoon. Mallet. All right, beef tenderloin really is the only cut that I recommend for this. Mainly because just in case the beef doesn't cook all the way through inside, you're fine. It won't be chewy, it won't be stringy. It'll still be super tender, easy to eat. Super easy, we're gonna take our slice of bacon and you're gonna visualize it in thirds and you're gonna cut one third of the slice off. So one's, one piece is clearly larger than the other and you're gonna use that to make a little cross. And you take a slice of beef and put it right in the middle. Over that cross, put your cheese down. Chopped jalapenos on top of the cheese. And then you're gonna use your side bits to roll. Roll that forward. Tuck your cheese back. And then you're gonna roll this bacon. Nice and tight so that all the cheese and jalapeno stays in there. Toothpick and you're gonna skewer it closed. Like so. All right, so we have a hot cast iron and we're gonna sear off all these nice, cool little bacon bits. Ooh. Brace the bacon, live in the bacon. Got a nice little sear on these. We're gonna cook them off for about 15 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna let the bacon cool and in the meantime, we're just gonna set up our garnish. So we're gonna take another jalapeno, but then instead of chopping it this time, we're gonna make really thin slices. So thin I can't even see them there. So now we're gonna take a little bit of mayo, a little bit of hot sauce, mix the two together. So now we're gonna skewer these. So you're gonna remove the original toothpick, and we're gonna skewer two per take our hot sauce aioli, jalapenos, we're gonna go right in the middle. Well there you have it folks, Alabama tailgaters, bacon wrapped beef, stuffed with cheese and jalapenos, perfect for American Thanksgiving. Thanks so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, let me know what you're cooking for dinner. And if you need ideas, I have a cookbook over here, it's full of them. Oh, hmm, that's a book.